All right, guys, so we could possibly be seeing our first hint for the next upcoming LF this Tuesday, January 9th. Now, there are multiple reasons for this, okay? Um, reason number one is something I already covered, but I'll just quickly mention it here that we are going to be getting a Legends team message, which is kind of like a mini reveals and stuff. Um, and it's going to be broadcasted on uh, 7 p.m. Pacific time. I'll be going live one hour before this. So if you guys want to watch this live with me, uh, just stop by and I'll uh, be going live here on my channel. But it goes on to say here that there's going to be uh, news on upcoming events. Now, I do think one of these upcoming events is going to be a Zenkai uh, revealed, right? So, for example, last January 9th for 2023, we actually got Zenkai Bergamo revealed. And this directly hinted towards LF, uh, you know, uh, T.O.P., Android 17. So, um, and of course, Ultra Hit and uh, Terminator Power got buffed n like so much right after this. So, um, we could be seeing a Zenkai that is going to be directly hinting towards the next LF. Now, we're going to be talking about who that LF is going to be because I have a lot of speculation around this. And I know a lot of you guys wanted to me make, uh, for me to make a video on this. So, um, truth be told, there is no telling until we actually get the Zenkai for us to start, you know, having a tunnel vision as to where we're going as of right now it's completely blank the legends festival is over we don't know where we're going right but there are some speculations we can do but i want you guys comment down below right now um who do you guys think it, or what tags do you think we're going to get buffed next comment down below i'm very curious to see your guys thoughts and by the way if you guys do enjoy the video as always make sure you guys simply just like and subscribe now in terms of speculations right because we don't know where they're headed yet until we actually get to zenkai right now, something I do know is that this Legends Festival, we did not get a powerful opponent sparking character, right? The only powerful opponent character we got was the Extreme Frieza. And no, I am not going to include the Golden Frieza from, uh, from Terminator Power because he did not, he was number one, he was not a bad guy. He was on the good guys team, right? And um, he did not hold the powerful opponent tag. So I'm going to leave it at that. And only the Extreme Frieza, which is, by, by the way, the first Legends Festival ever. And I think maybe even the biggest like Legends Festival and anniversary combined within these last five years that we did not get a sparking powerful opponent character, which is pretty shocking, right? So unless you guys uh, want to correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section down below, I'm all ears, but I can't think of a big celebration where they did not have a powerful opponent character sparking, right? So look, there are a ton of powerful opponent characters, obviously, right? Um, we have a variety of different forms of Majin Buu. Um, we also have Baby, Super Baby 2. We have Omega Shenron. We have a, a ton of movie characters as well. Now, I, if, if I had to choose, if I had to like kind of narrow down exactly which path, if, if it is a powerful point in character, right? And by the way, we're going to get two major banners this month on the 17th, uh, which should be DLF, and then as well as at the end of the month, right? So... I would say the three biggest possibilities is number one, a Zamasu character for Battle Hour. That's number one, right? It could be a Corrupt Zamasu, a Fusion Zamasu, I don't know, but a Zamasu character for Battle Hour, right? Last Battle Hour on the 28th, or this year it's going to be on the 28th, but last Battle Hour, they shut off Ocha Rose. So I'm sure they're trying to save something pretty hype like a Corrupt Zamasu if they were to show off that for Battle Hour, right? But anyways, a Zamasu character is number one a Super Baby 2 or a Omega Shenron. Now, these three characters on top of my list, um, two of them are GT characters, okay? Now, this big celebration for the Legends Festival 23, we did not get Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, okay? Which we all expected, but we got Ultra UI Goku, which is totally fine with me. Um, this most likely is getting shifted towards the 6th anniversary finale, uh, for an Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And if that's the case, they need to dramatically start buffing GT as of right now. Um, we have like, what? Well, let's just say January, um, February, March, April, May. We have just about five months, give or take, of GT buffs. It could be this month, it could be next, it could be the third month, who knows, right? But GT buffs are definitely a must if they are going to start bringing out um, Super Saiyan 4 Ultra Gogeta for the finale of the six year anniversary, right? Um, and you, you, you can see here, like this tag is dead. It's dead. I would say the best character here would probably be the Zankai Super Saiyan 4, um, Goku. After that, everything else, everything else here can get shifted around. Honestly, like there's nothing good going for this tag. Everything's power crept, period, period. No discussion there, right? Um, so yeah, Majin Buu is another character I would love to see personally. Um, 
honestly, there, there's so many variations of Majin Buu because we only have like one LF Majin Buu character, which is Kid Buu, which is really outdated. I would love to see a perhaps maybe check this out. Okay. I would love to see a Super Buu, which can transform to either um, a uh, Buhan or can transform either to a Buu Tanks. And it depends. It's a 50-50 when you hit that main ability button to transform, right? Or maybe as a revival character, he uh, either goes grabs uh, Ultimate Gohan or he grabs Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. I think that would be a really cool thing uh, to do uh, with this character. And I'm sure they're going to do something like that down the line for sure. But uh, but yeah, I don't think it's going to be Golden Frieza because we just got a Golden Frieza right now, the yellow one. I just don't think it's going to be him. Um, although it could be. And I don't think it's going to be Perfect Cell because we just got an LF Perfect Cell not too long ago, right after the uh, right after the anniversary, right? The 50th anniversary. So um, we have that, okay? Now, besides powerful opponent characters and GT characters, something else that, that I think they're going to start doing a lot this year is Games Original. Now, when it comes to Games Original, guys, there is no telling what we're going to get. We could get absolutely anything because it's literally made up like for example goku and bardock made up right technically games original it could be a freezing cooler games original it could be a super saiyan vegeta from namek games original it could be a golden cooler games original right or technically that's not games original but you guys get the point so games original i do think is going to be a major emphasis alongside gt this year i'm not saying this month i'm saying this year of 2024 so games original and gt are two uh, main tags to take a to take a look at for 2024 right so we have that and of course daima at the end of the year because that comes out at the end of the year but that's that's later on um another, another okay another thing that i really want to talk about is a few characters that's been disrespected or that has been forgotten to that's been overdue to get an lf okay number one vegeta characters in general i don't think we got one solo vegeta lf character for the whole um 2023 and i'm talking about solo character right of course we got the boo bros of course we got evolution vegeta and kaioken goku but i'm talking about like a dedicated solo vegeta character right now what they could do is three um vegeta characters number one is a lf final flash vegeta that'd be great um number two would definitely be a ultra margin vegeta dude that would be super hype. I, I really want an Ultra Majin Vegeta. Honestly, I think like one of the most deserving Ultra characters. Um, and we we are definitely overdue for a Majin Vegeta character, right? Or a Vegeta character in general. Another one that's actually pretty shocking, and this would also follow under the GT category, is that um, we have not gotten an LF Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta solo character yet. So this would... This would be perfect for a Vegeta solo character as well as a GT buff before the six year anniversary. Now, it could be like three months down the line. I don't know, but this could definitely be a possibility in the very near future. Another one as well as Super Saiyan 3 Gold Tanks. I'm shocked. I am honestly shocked we haven't gotten an LF Super Saiyan 3 Gold Tanks just yet. I mean, honestly, definitely worth an LF in my books. Um, one of my favorite characters in the all, all of the anime in itself, but... um. This character, and you can even toss in Ultimate Gohan in the mix, but we're not going to do that because Beast Gohan just came out or Ultimate Gohan just came out from Super. Uh, but that's, that's just another point, right? So yeah, guys, I mean, honestly, we don't know what we're going to get until we get the Zenkai reveal on the 9th. And we should be getting a Zenkai reveal on the 9th, whether it's on the morning or nighttime. As you guys can see at 6.16 p.m. Pacific time, uh, January 9th of 2023, we ended up getting the Zenkai Bergamo preview. So we could be getting a Zenkai uh, Bergamo, not, not Zenkai, a Zenkai like Bergamo preview for the um, to hint the next LF character to come out, right? So uh, yeah, guys, I'm really really hyped. I will be going live for this. Don't forget at 6 a.m. Pacific time here on my channel. So stop by. Let's uh, do some raids together while we wait for the uh, big reveal or whatever this is, right? But yeah, guys, um, if you did enjoy the video, as always, make sure you guys simply just like and subscribe and comment down below your thoughts of who you would uh, like to see for the next Zenkai or next LF or Ultra for Battle Hour as well. So uh, yeah, I'll definitely catch you guys once again tomorrow morning. Have a good one. Peace.